Hey guys, today I'm going to show you all you need to know to set up and use your new MetaQuest VR headset. This tutorial is aimed at anyone with a Quest and especially people who want to develop or play games with their Quest. Let's get straight into it. After unpacking, first charge your headset and activate your controllers by pulling out the paper strips that stick out of them. Once you're ready, start the headset by holding the power button on the right side of the headset for 2 seconds. All you have to do at this point is to choose a language and connect your headset to your Wi-Fi. I recommend at this point that you properly adjust the headset on your head. Start by adjusting the space between your lenses by simply moving them closer or further from each other. This is called the IPD, or the interpupillary distance, or simply just the distance between your pupils. A distance from 61 to 66 mm is a medium distance. 61 mm or smaller is considered narrow. 66 mm or larger is considered wide. You can also wear your glasses inside the headset, as long as they are below 142 mm in width and 50 mm in height. For this you will need the spacer that you can find in your box. Remove the foam of your headset and place the spacer between headset and foam. For more comfortability, adjust the side straps first, then put on the headset and adjust the strap at the top. Once you've done this, don't turn off your device, because now you have to connect it to your phone. For this, download the Oculus app from any app store and continue your setup by signing into your Facebook account. Unfortunately, at this point, an account is still required. You will then be asked to create a pin for your headset and after that the app should automatically recognize your headset and get ready for pairing. Once the headset is paired, you can click on close. If the headset is not paired automatically, look out for a pairing code inside your headset, which you can then enter inside the mobile app manually. Now, pick up your headset again and get ready to set up your Guardian. The Guardian can be used seated or standing. For room scale mode, a minimum free space of 2 by 2 meters or 6.5 by 6.5 feet is recommended. If you don't have enough space available, choose the stationary mode. Now just follow the tutorial inside of your headset. Afterwards you will be asked to define your gaming space. This step can be skipped in stationary mode. Later the guardian in room scale as well as stationary mode will only be visible whenever you are about to step outside of the boundaries you just set. Congrats! You set up your Guardian for the first time. You are now entering the Oculus menu. I recommend starting off by looking at the Explore menu. There you can find recommended content like Hands, which guides you on how to use hand tracking with your Meta Quest, or Oculus First Steps, which is a very good introduction into VR and teaches you how to use all the buttons on your controllers. Okay guys, don't worry, we are almost finished. But to develop for Meta Quest, we have to do a few more steps. In the next tutorials, we are going to look into game engines and how we can develop our own VR games. For testing our games, we need to be able to connect the device to the game engine. For this, we need the Oculus Link app. You can find the link to the app in the description. And now, let's first download the installer. Now, you can go through the setup. After the installation is finally finished, we are able to connect our device. Therefore, head over to Devices. We can now plug in our MetaQuest into our PC. Once we connected our MetaQuest, you will see that it pops up in our Devices panel. For me, it is orange because you should always use a USB 3 connection instead of a USB-C. I'm using USB-C, that's why there is a warning. Ok guys, we are now able to test our games directly from our game engines. But hold on, there is one more step. If we want to play our game natively on our Meta Quest without being connected to our game engine, or we later want to publish our game in the Meta Store, we need a software called Oculus Developer Hub. If you want to know how to publish your game in the Meta Store, then definitely check out our last video. Ok guys, let's wrap this up. So. We are going to download the installer for the Oculus Developer Hub. 
the link is in the description. Extract your folder and then press on the installer. Ok guys, almost done. We are now in the Oculus Developer Hub. The most important thing is, if you connect your device now, please enable the developer mode. This will allow you to later install custom apps on your device. As you can see here, I already set up my device, so I'm not prompted to this page. But if you connect your new device, you will be prompted and you can choose to accept developer mode. Let me give you a quick rundown of the Oculus Developer Hub. As you can see, you can cast your stream to any device such as your TV, you can record videos or screenshots straight out of your device, or you can measure your metrics for, for example from your game. Furthermore, you can analyze the performance in this performance analyzer, or you can manage the files on your device, or upload a new app directly in the app distribution. Ok guys, congrats, you're on your way to become a VR developer. In the next video, we are already jumping into our game engine Unity and enable VR for the first time, so definitely stay tuned for that. I would appreciate a like and subscribe, and thanks a lot for watching.